probably watching me right now eating these boudin balls. Oh, she's like you're going to be in so much trouble. Oh, she's going to kick my ass. You're going to be in so much trouble. Yeah, I, you know what I had to do so she can let me out the house on a Sunday? You had to hang out with Herbert again? No, no. That, <laughs> oh, that, that's, no, no. Oh, I'm delicious. I love you. They don't have any blood boudin, do they? No, unfortunately. Yeah. Maybe, maybe next year. <laughs> oh my god. That one was spicy. What do you think? It's good. Boudin, there you go. There you go. It's He's gonna excellent. go to, back to Canada like, but guys, now I've gotta had, try boudin. But now I've had the best boudin in the world, so all of the boudin's just gonna... <laughs> there's, yep. there's nowhere nowhere else to go but down now. Once you get the best, it's okay. hard to go back. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like black pudding? Nope. It doesn't have the blood in it. No. <laughs> Cajun sausage. Yeah, you like there that you Cajun go. sausage, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Above average Cajun sausage. Oh, oh, oh my god. I think that might be above average. Above average. Yeah, yeah. that's above average. Right it's now. definitely above average. Yeah, it's not as hot. Usually, if we were like part of the uh, the volunteer room at Creepy Hollow, we already been drenched in sweat. Yeah, exactly. Just standing not out there. Bad. But yeah. I mean, we get to go back sit in the air conditioner and stuff, so <laughs> to us, of course, it's not going to feel quite as hot. That's right. Tomorrow is going to feel hot for me. But not for you. Yep, yep. So, what are your plans yeah. now? I don't know. I guess so. Can you pitch on <laughs> I don't know. I haven't she, decided yet. He's going to go knock on that house and be like, hey, can I get a ride? Yep. No. Tomorrow we'll see him on the news. His tent will be like in their backyard. <laughs> He's gonna go right there with the kids and think, Can I talk to your parents? <laughs> and thank you for the ten dollar donation. Oh, poor Tony Crafts. Poor Tony Crafts. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. R A U S E. Thank you so much. Oh. You get you another ball, Willie. Hey, 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 don't rush me about balls. Get you another ball, Willie. Get you another ball. These are pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie to you. These are bad. Hey. They are good. Like, uh, uh, uh. Really uh, good. What is that? Food Channel? Food Channel, if you're watching us, we do all. If you want to make a show about us, hitchhiking with a guy and two clowns, testing food. Here you go. food for free all over the United uh -huh. States. There uh -huh. you go. There you go. Hitchhikers and clowns, classic combination. Mm -hmm. Always. Clitch hiking. Let's see how long it would take you guys to catch a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Probably weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll try right now. I'm gonna see if what I've learned from Trevor works. <laughs> well, you get, yeah, you gotta find your spot with a nice long line of sight, wide shoulder where they can safely pull off the lane of traffic. And I do the slow traffic. Well, my thing and, is, you, you know, know, it'll just work perfectly. Well, no, what I've learned more than anything is this. Are you ready? Yeah. This is extremely powerful, and I normally don't do it in front of very many people. Are you ready? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> the nod. He's got the nod down. There you He's go. He's got the nod. <laughs> Chat, here you go. Yeah, gotta do the eye contact. Oh, look, he was honking at us. We were doing the knot. Yeah, there, there you go. He thought, yeah, you thought you were nodding at him. So, yeah. and, and he just had to be sitting back. So, he, like, he probably nodded at you, and it's like, oh, you probably didn't see that and give you a little toot toot. Yeah. Automatically. Yeah. Well, see, the thing is, when we were at the store, I was trying to take the attention of me being a clown and saying, he's Canadian. You see? That's yeah. how you open things. You know? Canadi Canadian. Yeah, this guy's Canadian. This guy is Kanatsky. Uh, Kanatsky. From Canada. And, uh, ah. That's how you open it. 
Did you see what Chat just said? Huh. Of all the things for me to read, you know what I see? Huh. Watch out, Relic, my fart. Just because I ain't blue dead <laughs> doesn't mean I'm going to start farting. And Chat, you're the one that's always farting with those little characters at the bottom of the screen. Oh, that's not you? I thought it was you this whole time. No, that's Chat. Oh. That's Chat. Damn it's it, also Chad. spicy. It's also spicy, man. Yeah. I have to eat it slow, otherwise my face will explode. That's that's the same thing with girls told if me. If you've when watched I was going him, out. if you've watched him, his chat. If you've watched him, you know he eats everything slow. Yeah, I enjoy it. Yeah, I savor the experience of eating good food and bad food too. Look, I'm nodding. I'm nodding. Oh, he nodded back. He nodded back. See, people. Step one. They can't resist it when someone stares at you and nods. It's like socially expected that you like you feel weird like not nodding back. You feel like you have to nod. <laughs> yeah. Back. And now you've just said hello. Yeah. You've just yeah. introduced yourself. Social experiments. <laughs> How's it going? That's not our car. What what, what direction are y'all heading to when y'all leave here? New Orleans. <laughs> now let me ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna give us a ride. Yeah. Hypothetically, if we needed yeah. a ride. That guy's going in the right direction. Oh, oh, they are going in the right direction. They're going to New Orleans. Look at him, look at him work. Look at he, him he's work. trying to, he's trying to, he's trying to look work me a ride. Look at him work. He's trying to get, he is the world's most ugliest, like, prostitute. He would be the world's ugliest prostitute, like. <laughs> but like, yeah. <laughs> See? What? what? I don't believe you! Look! No, I don't think so! There you go! There you go! Were you filming my ass? Were you filming my ass? No! I was telling the people that you were you would make the world's ugliest prostitute. Wow, wow, Willie. Trying to get a ride like that? I was like, God! Hey! You said he'd give me a ride. Well, that's good. At least they'll give you a ride. Yeah. Well, actually, I told him. They told me that I couldn't get a ride. Uh -huh. So just nod when they ask me. <laughs> I said yes. Yeah, he said yes. Well, I mean, hypothetically. Hypothetically speaking. Yeah. You saw a lady looking at the car. I said, That's not our car. <laughs> They're probably wondering, what the hell are they doing over here? But yeah, she was like, isn't that your car? <laughs> Why do you need a ride? <laughs> Oh well, it's broke oh, down. My God. I don't know where that car came from. <laughs> Whose car is that? My I mean, face is not on the back of that. Whose far car could that possibly be? So it's probably not a good idea to ask for a ride. No, or in your vehicles <laughs> right next to right, your right, car right there. It, 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 it don't it don't have your face on it anywhere. Yeah, huh? yeah. Well, you know, you know. Oh, you guys have the QR code and everything on there. Yeah, it, even the vine. You gotta do it for the vine. You got the vine? You gotta yeah. do it for the vine. When the vine existed. Yeah, I know. You gotta do it for the vine. The vine is now gone. The vine is dried up. Yeah, the vine is There's dead. no more vine. Poor vine. The rest of there this. is no more vine. Willie, eat balls. What? There's no you way I'm gonna be able to, I will I'm on gonna the way be able to finish one of these links and then that's it. Way too much. No, I asked you, for like a normal meal is, size and she's like, two. I'm is like, that too much food? Is that too much sausage for that, your belly? That is, I can't believe he swallowed that much. That's, that's, that's a, a lot, lot of sausage. That's a lot of sausage. That's a substantial There's only so sausage. much sausage a man can take. That's <laughs> 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 not that much. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, god. Uh, oh my god. It's crazy. It is crazy. We drove a complete stranger <laughs> all the way to Lafayette. 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 With, uh, dressed as clowns. You did. I'm always a clown. What do you, what do you mean? No, well, you know. I bet. I don't know. You know, everyone yeah, says. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> everyone says it's all been done before. I bet that specific thing has not been done before. It probably hasn't been done. There you go. Think so. and then We're we making history here. We stopped at a store and got the best booty in the world. With nothing but yeah. religious markings everywhere. Yeah, with Jesus staring at us. So, <laughs> yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with Jesus. He's probably, well. No. But he was staring at us. Or <laughs> Mother, Mother, Mother Teresa. Or, oh, this is Virgin Mary. Or Virgin Mary. Somebody. Somebody was watching. Somebody with a robe on was lurking at us. Yeah. It's not that no, nothing's wrong with it. It's just they were that lurking at us, chat. They were lurking at us. They usually don't let us into those places. You know what I'm saying? 
Thank you. Thank you so much for all the new people that have come into the broadcast today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the follows and the donations and the tips and all that good stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching so long today. I so hope many you hours. Find a toilet tonight. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're gonna food. need to unload <laughs> that boonan. Yeah, the gonna be a little rough. Yeah, the gonna come out. Yeah. yeah. So you and it's spicy, you bro. Need to unload. Yeah. Just go see if you can use your toilet. And this oh. would be literally the worst thing to camp outside in, like any kind of territory where there's anything. Oh yeah, because they will smell. Because they will smell that, and they will go for that. You know, when yeah. I put my Taco Bell wrappers out, you know, in wilderness to like keep them away from my tent. I'd have to do that with this. But it's I, I can't waste this. <laughs> Gotta eat. He has to eat the whole sausage. Oh, yeah. are you kidding me? What? <laughs> oh my god. What? That's a lot. That's a lot of sausage. You're gonna that's have to. A lot of you're gonna gorge sausage. yourself in sausage. I know. Just think like a zombie and just. Oh god. <laughs> if someone asked if you were eating a horse penis. <laughs> <laughs> Delicacy here. Uh, yeah. And it's a uh, cultural but thing. But it's important. Stay away from the sheep. Yeah, it's don't 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 thing. get near the sheep. The goats, I mean. Jade Zone, thank you for the hundred bits. Appreciate it. Hot, spicy. You're gonna go the rest of your life. The rest of your life. And not one more time would you get a ride from another clown. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. You're probably right. Delicious. Once in a lifetime opportunity. It's never been done before. No. Hitchhike to ride with clowns. From Houston to Lafayette. At least not on camera. The, that the I know world's of. best. Oh God! Uh, they said you're eating sheep balls. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Whatever. Chat, chat is. Chat, chat is on it tonight. Chat is crazy today. Chat is on it. Chat today. is crazy today. Like they're all about the balls. And horse. Hey, everybody! So look at the balls. Check these balls out. Aren't, those are some nice. Yeah, the showcase. Those are some balls. nice balls. Those are the right best there. balls in town. Some nice balls. Oh, I ain't going over there. Why? <laughs> Hi, how you doing? How are you? How you doing? <laughs> we don't bite hard. We came here because yeah. we heard the best balls were over yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah, they got the best balls. Yeah, they got the best balls in town. Yeah. Best balls in town. That's what I heard. Now, where y'all coming from, like? Texas. We're Southern from Houston, Texas. Texas. He's from Canada. Canada. You're Canadian. I'm Canadian. So, you come from Canada to come and eat some Louisiana French. Well, people from my phone told me to come here. I'm doing a live stream. So, there's people watching. I hitchhiked here from Canada. You hitchhiked? Hitchhiked through 15 states so far. And I ended up here getting driven by these guys from Houston. Here. Oh, wow. Um, and some of my viewers That's said I, she I had she to live I'm we about picked, 40 miles away from here. We picked them up on the side so of the road. where are you headed to ultimately? Are you going to turn around and go to Houston or are you going to New Orleans? Uh, New Orleans well, I want to go to all 50 states. I've been through 15, so I got 35 to go. So where are you going after here? Continuing east. I, I don't have a specific destination for the land. I don't have a, a, an end goal. You can't go to the states and don't see New Orleans. Go to New Orleans? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? This is just uh, a free person. And you guys are bringing this to Just a little... You didn't go to Houston it. yet? That's where we picked him up from. Yeah, yeah, we all picked him up from Houston? Oh, he's hitchhiking me, you guys. Yeah, we just left him. Are you like a crazy this hitchhiking? Are you like, really? Oh, wait? Thumb and signs. Wow. He's got a super thumb. Yeah, yeah. we saw it from miles away. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool, and you guys drove him here. And yes. now we're dropping him off. Bye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we haven't picked up 87 times on the trip, I think. So what y'all do with that, bro, that creepy haunted house thing? What do you do with that? We're a haunted house out of Houston, Texas. We scare the hell out of people. Yeah, I know, but the one of the ones I see, like, on the side of I-10 yeah. and all of that? Yeah, we're on 288. Yeah. That's the Buddha. Do you want this one now, or are you going to just hang I'm going to eat two of these right now. But I'm going to eat a red Wow, that's great. So where were you guys bring him to? He was on the side of Beltway 8 in Houston. But where y'all going? We're we just, just picked around. him up and brought him over here because he was coming this way. We're going so, back to Houston. He's staying here somewhere. He's going from here that way towards 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 New Orleans, yeah. and we're going back to Houston. We just gave him a ride. 
Yeah. Pretty long ride at that. Yeah. Yeah, long ride. <laughs> wow. And how long have you been out? One day. And you did how many days so far? Fifteen. You gonna do all fifty? All fifty, including Alaska and Hawaii, but it might be hard to hitchhike. How you gonna do that? that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fly to Hawaii. Slim. Well, <laughs> I'm best advice for you to do. Do a Hawaii land by that time. Big fucking volcano be to calm down. That is true. Yeah. 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 Alaska, that Hawaii is very true. Last one, Gotta so let it calm down. The continental U.S. states first, and then we we'll go from there. Well, I, I basically do the same thing. I'm a truck driver. You're a truck driver. Are you on a? No, I'm a, I'm I'm home now. All right, you're off right now. Is this, is this a Why are you eating deep place? fried balls? <laughs> yeah, the don't judge us. Deep fried human you balls. You don't judge us. Yeah. Deep fried human balls. No. What's she saying? The, 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 the pepper jacks are on sideways. top. Right. Oh, my GERD. Oh, my GERD. Hitch on a ship, I might. Oh, my GERD. The problem being, I couldn't last stream that guy. Man, that's some nice oh, mess y'all got, dude. That's mess. And the contact <laughs> you got, you scan the shit out of me, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 288 South. 288 South. About Paraland. Paraland yeah. area, yeah. Okay. When are you coming to Alaska? I Easy don't know yet. That's close to, 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 to six, huh? Yeah, probably six. Yes, sir. This is one of the balls. What? He's what? got a ball oh, all oh, up in his mouth. Ball yeah, I got a ball in mouth. <laughs> so I, I have eaten the ball. They are delicious. There you go. They are delicious. Well, Trevor, we're going to hit the road. All right. We're going to go back towards Houston. All right. Wish you the best of up. luck on your travels. Well, I'll need it. And it's important. You're in Louisiana. Yeah. If you go to poop on the side of the road, make sure your butt's not facing a swamp. Because <laughs> you don't want to get bit by an alligator. The alligator. Yep. Oh! I know that way you was going. Yeah. Take a bite out of Canada. Oh, Canadian bacon. <laughs> oh, Canadian bacon. <laughs> We got to make a sign, and then uh, Willie is going to grab Trevor's butt so everybody can. Oh yeah, we got to take Trevor, a selfie. Trevor, how old are you, man? Oh, yeah. So. I don't know about twenty-five. Um, how do I get to that? So. Um. Um. <clears throat> we got to make a sign for Trevor. What are you like, thirty-two? And. 23. And. 23. And we're gonna we're gonna flip the camera around. And Willie is going to grab Trevor's butt so we can all get a get a get a idea of how firm it is and how firm it's not. So uh What the hell? That's that's not your average size marker. No, this is a book. What are we what are we putting on here? What man what's your parents think about you? We scared? I don't I don't know how to spell uh uh what what city? No, 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 no. Where's New Orleans? New Orleans. I can spell New Orleans. Go on to New Orleans? No, you don't write on that. Oh. It's got to be enough for them to see. I think she appreciates it. So he may put East on here. Any bad experience? East? East. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not sure if he wants <laughs> East or New Orleans. Trevor, what do you want? East uh, or New Orleans. Oh, I just thought you guys could come up with a, I don't, like, I already have an East sign. So. Oh, okay. Oh. So you can make a New Orleans sign if you want to. Green gravy. <laughs> oh God! Well, what you want to know about New Orleans? Guess what we West yet? Guess what we both the from? We both the Well, what should I do there as a Canadian just passing through hitchhiking? There's so much to see. Yeah, I bet there is. Hmm. You gotta eat everywhere. You gotta eat everywhere. I'll be there for like a year <laughs> to eat everything. See, let me explain something to you that's unique about Louisiana. Yeah. What we eat now 
right here, which is what you have. It's Cajun. Yeah. You saw Boone out of New Orleans when you was growing up? Back in the But see, Boone out is Cajun. New Orleans is primarily Creole. New Orleans. Oh. And it's a big difference yeah. between Cajun and Creole. The basic difference is with Cajun cooking, <laughs> There it's you more go. gravy based with meat. Creole food is basically That's gonna be worth like ten bucks in ten years. Okay. Now you might have jambalaya. Jambalaya out here is gonna be brown. Yeah. What color is gonna be in the water? Red. It's gonna be red. Interesting. I didn't know. So the gumbo is gonna taste different. Everything yeah. gonna taste different. Have the same name. We're all together different. And you can't compare the two. They all. Yeah, New Orleans. Uh, there you go. You got our autographs. Got the autographs. Auto yeah. Oh, oh, that's a bug. Hey, hey. Whoa, it's a big dude. Yeah. Well, it had a hole in it. Three. Okay, so, chat, right. what we're about I need to do right now. Guys too. What we're about to do right now is. Three days, but uh, but after three days, I need a full overnight recharge. Where you go for that? I'll have to. If I didn't get an offer for a place to stay or anything like that, then I'll have to like pay for a motel or do something. Because uh, the purpose of this trip is to show people what hitchhiking is like, and that requires this to be running. Um, so, like, I have 390 people watching, and they couldn't be watching if there's no there's no cell or there's no power. I need it all to be charged, but I can go about three days without having to touch a wall. So what are you planning on going back home, Joe? See ya! <laughs> what, what made you think about doing this? What, this trip or hitchhiking in general? Just, yeah, this trip and this the trip. hitchhiking. Okay, well, I guess, well, hitchhiking in general, I just hated the Greyhound bus, to be honest, and I decided to hitchhike one time, and it went really well. I got picked up in 20 minutes, and I drove into my friend's front door, like, way, way down the way. Um, so I just had a really good experience with it. It escalated quickly. I started hitchhiking internationally. I've hitchhiked in 25 countries now, and I've had just a good time doing it, and I want to show people what hitchhiking can be like. Uh, so that's the purpose of this trip, is to show people live, as it happens, what hitchhiking can be, uh, the people you meet, the experience of it, uh, how I hitchhike, where I hitchhike, everything like that. I just want to show people 
what it's like. Because people, everyone knows what hitchhiking is, but no one really does it anymore. Yeah, I'm sure you don't see that many on the road anymore. It's so anymore. dangerous, bro. I mean... But that's another thing I address is it's not as dangerous as people make it out to be. Um, I have some rules that I follow uh, that I believe keep me safer. Also, I think this live stream keeps me safer because I have to ask permission to live stream these people before I get into the cars, and I've lost only six rides on the trip. Like, they pull over, I go up and say I'm, I'm documenting the process of hitchhiking, I have a live stream, and they're like, oh, I'm not comfortable with the camera, so I wait for the next ride. Um, but if someone had any bad intentions, they wouldn't want that camera. Well, yeah, that, I mean, that's... Somebody's gonna see it. But, um, and, and then one of my rules is I talk to my drivers before I get in, I, and I do turn down rides if I get a bad vibe from them. Uh, when someone pulls over, it's almost expected that you just pop into their car and go. Because uh, they pulled over for you, you're hitchhiking. But you still have a choice to make whether you want to get into that car or not. So before you get into that car, talk to them. So I, I would open the door and I'm like, hey, how's your day? Where was you had to do? There's these basic questions, and how they respond to that, you can get a feel for what type of personality they have. Uh, I don't hitchhike at night. I did. Last night, and the guy ended up being drunk, and I got out of the car. <laughs> wow. But, um, yeah, that's why I don't hitchhike at night. Things get weird after night, people start drinking after night. Um, so I've got some rules that I follow, and I believe they keep me safer. I, I recognize it's not as safe as taking a bus, plane, train, or driving your own car from point A to point B, but it's, I, I guarantee it's not as dangerous as people think it is. Guaranteed. And you probably have a car at home, too. Sold it. So I did the reverse. I started driving, uh, and then I decided to try hitchhiking. Sold my car, and uh, so I did the reverse. Most people start hitchhiking, then they get a car, and then they never hitchhike again. Are I you journaling as well? Switch. Sorry. Are you journaling as well, or are you just live streaming? The live stream is my journal, I guess. Wow. Uh, they, they. I usually turn it on in the morning, like early-ish in the morning, and I live stream till the sun goes down and I'm no longer the check thing anymore and I say I'm going to set up my tent. I don't live stream where I'm camping uh, for my own Protection, yeah. Yeah, because I don't want to show everyone where I'm Now, sleeping. what kind of places do you going to camp around here? Uh, I mean... Well, ideally public land. I don't like to go on private property and just... Like a some park or something? Yeah. Are you guys, are you guys like, local to this area right now? Like, left uh -huh. Are you guys just stopping by here? Are you on a trip? No, we're not on a trip. No, I brought her from here. I live not far from here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. But she came from Houston. Oh, okay. She lives in Houston now. You know, after Katrina, she went up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you think of Houston? Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Is that a loaded question? Let me tell you what I think of Houston. First of all, I've been going to Houston as early as I can remember. I guess I'm going to be friends when I'm three years old. Yeah. And I made my family to Thursday to that. And um, my dad is 83. Yeah. And he has been going to Houston since he was 15. Mm -hmm. My paternal grandfather moved there. Mm -hmm. So I, I've been going, even though I moved there after Katrina, Yeah. you know, it's not like a lot of people from Katrina. I went somewhere I'd never been. Okay, I was always back and forth there, and my family there was always here, you know, in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So I remember when I was in New Orleans, I ran a visitor at a pro office, and there was a girl from California, and she was running the pool. Yeah. And, She'd stop in Houston, it was southern, and it was more based on this this era. It was when Cane River came out, more but based on um, Cajun culture, white people, you know, or what have you, than Louisiana culture. So yeah. she was in Houston, and she told me, when I asked her what she thought of Houston, because my aunts wanted me to move there, mm -hmm. and all that, and I never did, I just visited. She said, Houston had the flavor. And that's what I think of Houston. I think that no Houston, it, like New Orleans has a feeling, yeah. it's a feel. I when have you heard get that. there, yeah. they're going to feel it. Yeah. Just like you know, here. It's like how he is, he's interacting and he's talking and, yeah. you know, and it's very, there's this je ne sais quoi, right? Mm. Houston is um, very industrious, very progressive. Yeah. Um, but it has no cohesion and it has no... I don't know. But I mean, I, I mean, other than that one, I'll probably be moving back to New Orleans maybe within a year or two. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably be gone. Yeah. So that's what I think of. I don't think it's a bad place. It's just, like, if I had come from, like, a, a regular normal place and not a place that's so alive, yeah, that like makes New sense. Orleans, that makes sense. it would be a great place. Yeah. 
what? But you went you to somewhere from that had, had so much going. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I get that. You know, you'll know the difference. What, what did you think of Houston? Awesome. I got that. I got that. I got that last too. night, and I left this morning. I didn't give it enough time to like give it an accurate. I, I can. And that's not necessarily because you were on a time schedule. It, it didn't have that pull that. See, like, yeah, you may go to New Orleans, like and you may get stuck there. People you may go to New Orleans and never leave. <laughs> you know, in my chat, we were kind of talking crap about Houston, saying it was like, well, one, wasn't safe, and two, um, I don't know, they just didn't say it had much going on for it. Uh, they were telling me to go to It Austin. depends on what you're looking for. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If you're looking to get ahead and get a job at work, or this and that and other, well, you're in the it's right like, place. It's just typical. Okay, yeah. Yeah. What's your how you shower, man? Infrequently. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give you a phone number. Yeah. Okay. Don't say it though. <laughs> give you a phone. Yeah. I know you're streaming. Yeah. You give you the phone number. You can go to any pilot of flying J. Yeah. Tell him you want to redeem a shot. Punch the number in. It's gonna ask you which one of the names in any one of them. And it's gonna give you the shot. Really? Also, I get them free. Also, <laughs> you yeah, because I buy some of few. They just give you tons of free shower. You go to a pilot truck okay. stop or a flying jet truck stop. Yeah. You have free showers. Give me something <laughs> right with you. Uh, yeah, sure. And also, and that'll be that'll be my contribution to your trip. Oh, I appreciate it. And New Orleans has few pastors. I don't know how far in advance you need to get in there. You've stayed in hostels because you've been all over the world. Yeah, there's not that. Well, I'm sure there's hostels in New Orleans, but, uh, right. but the US to be doesn't, have a, doesn't have a big hostel network. No, no, not Only as big as like European countries. countries. Yeah. European yeah. countries is really big. But New Orleans has a couple. Yeah. I don't know how far in advance or so what have you. I don't know what to do past then. Okay, I'll just uh, do you want to add your name and then uh, just. Uh, well, my name or yeah. the, the way you need to go? Your with. name and then I'll just add the pilot and flying. And when you get there, well, the name that you need to know, right? This is pilot and pi flying jet. Oh, wait. Oh, I do need to know your name. Do I need to? If no, I you don't. Oh, Just okay. when they ask you, they're going to say the name. Yeah. Say any one of them. Oh, okay. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, and also. But I'll put my name on here so you know it was me. Okay. So, and also, when you get there, if you're like late, late night and you're drinking, you want to stay on the main drag. And the main drag at night is pretty much going to Canal Street. Yeah, but and, and let me don't shout out the way with yeah. any of the side streets. Yeah. Yeah, like just make sure you do that. Yeah. You want to stay and I think if I have all my gear with me, I'd only do it during oh, the right. daytime. So, no. and that's my name. And and that's, that's it. What we're doing. And, that's and okay. See, because there's more than one of us sharing. Okay. But it doesn't matter. It's it doesn't free. matter. Okay. And that's and pilot and, that, and flying J. Pilots and flying J's. All right. And then that. That's my little con small contribution. That's a huge, that's a huge contribution. Over, right? huh? They're all over the place. They're all over the country. He see them and I know he They're can. also, like Flying J's are in Canada too. That's yeah, international. Yeah, <laughs> so that works everywhere. Wow. That's a wow. that's a huge that contribution. Cool. That's a, that's awesome. Because people cool. are always like, yeah, just shower at truck stops. It's like 10 bucks. 10 is 14 then. It's 14. Yeah. That's pricey. You can almost get a place to stay for that. Not quite, but almost. What's what? your name? Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Nice to meet you. Nice oh to meet wow, you how name? adventurous. And what are you, oh my name's Linda. Linda. Yes, yeah, Linda, yes. Wow, and what did you study in school? Are you more interested in social sociology? <laughs> what is it, psychology? I did a big 180. I did my Bachelor of Business Administration. I'm an accounting major. Wow, <laughs> really? An adventurous accountant? There you oh, go. Wow. I'm probably the first hitchhiking accountant. Accountant ever, right. Uh, I'm pro probably also the first professional hitchhiker you've met because uh, now it's my, my job, apparently. Because uh, wow. I, I make enough off of this where I, I can sustain myself. You know, I love this little thing that comes on. It didn't come on this uh, Friday because I was in Houston and unfortunately they had a school shooting and yeah, they carried oh, the local yeah. news over. Terrible. Terrible. But uh, hopefully I'll see you on, you know, the CBS Evening News? Yeah. You know that every Friday, they do everybody has a story or on the road. Yeah. So hopefully they'll run across you. <laughs> and I'll be sitting there on Friday because I watch yeah. CNN other than that. But I'll be sitting there on Friday.
But on Friday, I watched the CBS Evening News strictly for that. Yeah. And I'd be like, that's Trevor! <laughs> How you like to do that? Trevor. It's really good. I asked for like one meal size thing, and she gave me two of them. I'm like, I can't eat two of them. Yeah. I ate one, and I'm like, I'm stuffed. Dude. It's substantial. And, and, and this is one of the best places to get the beer. Yeah, my viewers said it's like the best place. Yeah, so. they ship all over the now. Enough, but in this area, anyway, you get the Boudin or Cracklins or whatever, yeah. and you saw all that stuff that they ship up in that dude, it was all good. Yeah. You can't beat the food in Louisiana. I've heard, so. You oh, cannot yeah. beat it. We'll be eating good in Louisiana. Well, thank you so much. You saved me. Oh, I will. All right, man. God all bless right. you and thank protect you, you and thank direct you. you, and I will look for you. I will look for you. And, <laughs> and you do have my card, right? Yeah, yeah. we'll check it yeah, out. Yeah, I got your card, and I'm going to be looking. Cool. I, I follow those. Uh, I follow those other guys that were walking. Right? Yeah. And guess what? They, no, I'm lying. They were riding bicycles. Okay. And what happened? About five minutes later, I crossed the 310 bridge going to New Orleans. And who you thinking on top of the bridge? Oh no! Not on those bikes. Yeah, they ride everywhere, just like that dude was riding on those stages. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, Joe. All right. Bed down. You see? I will, I will. I definitely will. <laughs> well, have a great rest of your day. And thank you so much for the, uh, yeah, that's a big hookup. And don't worry about it not working. I'm telling you, any one of them. Yeah. If you, if you, if you decide I walk out and you've got too sweaty and turn back over, then you still be free. <laughs> all the time. And I'm going to That's amazing. Sure I'll keep it up. <laughs> With all the fuel? That's right. Yeah, all right. You going in? Looking at you. You're going to check me out. All right, see you guys. Yeah, bye. Relic and Willie are crying. They miss you. Oh, no. I miss them, too. Baby, come back. Amazing people. Did you hear what they hooked me up with? You know, people are like, oh, just shower at truck stops. But it's like... 8 to 14. Apparently around here it's $14 for a, for a, a shower at a, a Flying J or Pilot. But because this guy's a truck driver, when you fuel, fuel up enough you get free shower vouchers. And attached to his phone number, his account, he's got a bunch of free shower vouchers. So he's just, I can, I, I can just go to any Pilot or Flying J and get a free shower. <laughs> there we go. We got that hookup. Yes, that is definitely poggers. It's definitely poggers. What's your biggest regret? I don't really have any regrets. Everything. I See ya! Everything I've done in my life has led me to this point, and I'm very happy where I am. Uh, so I've done some stuff that I wouldn't necessarily do again if I was given that. Put in that position, um, but I don't. Have, I don't regret anything. It's gotten me right here. Boggers to the fullest, exactly, exactly. Clowns are making good content. Are are they? They're streaming the whole Red Fruit back. I should probably check out what they're doing. Rob and take that sausage for later? Yeah. I can't throw it out. That would be blasphemy. Oh, there's so many people pulling up right now and getting disappointed because it closed. Streaming till it gets dark. Man, now I want to see what they're up to. But I'm streaming. You know, sad missing you? Amazing, guys. That was a lot of fun. I'm really happy I we got to do that little collaboration thing. You about to find a ride to New Orleans? Um, I guess. Describe the taste. Never had boudin. I'm so bad at describing taste. I'm trying to compare it to something that you, you probably would have had. You're crying, crying, screaming your name. Never got 
gotten sick. Um, not really. I, one day I took a day off in Germany because I was like, didn't really, really didn't feel good, and I just stayed in my tent all day, and then got up the next day and hitchhiked. Um, and then I got sick actually in Des Moines. At one point in the night, I like was about to, you know, whatever was in there was about to come back up, but it didn't. And then I felt better like two hours later. Natural hitch is better. Yeah, I still want that to be the majority of things, uh, but I just thought this was a unique opportunity to... This is the first time I've actually met up with other live streamers and stuff like that, so I thought that was a really unique opportunity to meet up with, with Relic. And I had fun. Not so good for fending off wildlife while camping. Yeah, this, I would not want to camp with this. I'd have to throw it out somewhere, and I would feel really bad about that because it's delicious. But I can't. Uh, like, I can't have that in my tent. It's a really bad idea. I'm sure you guys saw how many ants were on that, that Taco Bell wrapper. And I shook the ants off because I, I don't, I hate littering. I hate, and I'd have to do that for this too. If this was covered in like disgusting bugs or whatever, I'd still try and get that out and remove the wrapper so I could go throw that out because I hate littering. I've heard of a town called Malone, New York? No. I'm not allergic to anything. So much love. Yeah, the stream has grown quite quickly. Um, oh yeah, did you guys see the sign? Now I've got a New Orleans sign. And it's signed. Relic, Willy Vodka. This is ours backwards. It's right by the Canadian border. Interesting. Is it chili? It's... It's got heat to it. Like, you don't notice it when you first kind of bite into it, but it kind of just builds up there. It's starting bit, a thousand bit, 10,000 bits. Yeah, it would shame, like it's signed. I, I would like to keep this sign, because this is memories for me. Um, but at some point I'm going to have to cycle through my signs. So eventually this sign will have to, to be recycled into the community or something like that. Because um, I can't carry it with me forever. I'm only 10 minutes from the border. Do you go to Canada often? And it is a dope sign. And it, it's in very different text than I use. Take a pic of it and it's yours forever. That's how it works, right? I want my my rookie Wayne Gretzky card. Just take a picture of it. I got it. Oh. But yeah, that was a very fun day. That was a sign that every new person you meet signs. Now that would be cool. That would be cool. But yes, Miss Kylie has the Texas sign. She's got it now on her wall. I like it. Have you traveled across Canada? Yeah, I've hitchhiked across Canada four times. And I've hitchhiked up to the Canadian Arctic as well in winter. Um, let me look at where I'm at, where I'm going, where I came from, where I want to be. <sighs> what a day though. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. It's awesome you're from Montreal. I love Montreal. I've been through there on each like each way across you go through Montreal if you're going like right to the east to the Maritimes. Uh, I, I really like Montreal. You're you're from a good place, Burning Types. It's Celine Dion song, My Heart Will Go On. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you guys. You ever switch roles and be the driver that picks up 
hitchhikers? When I do have a car and I'm driving, I do pick up hitchhikers. Just can't stop watching them clowns? So yeah, keep watching them. Keep watching them. Interesting content. Uh, here at Hitch Live, we like to see people doing something a little different. Something out there. Something that hasn't really been done too much. So quite often when we uh, host people and rate people, it's something that's a little bit more obscure. I'd, I'd say uh, clowns are a bit obscure. They're a bit too loud. Different spokes for different folks. Different people are like gonna like different things. No one thing is gonna be perfect for everyone. But that was fun. Let's go get a ride to New Orleans. Yeah, let's go see how far away uh, from the on ramp I am. I do what you've wanted to do for a while now. But do it. Hitchhiking's awesome because you don't need much money to start doing it. You know, some people are like, I really want to go on like this this dream vacation to Paris. And like, that's awesome, but you're gonna need several thousand dollars to do it. If what you wanna do is hitchhike and explore the world, you really don't need that much money. Because, well, your transportation's free. If you live in a tent, your accommodation's free. Um, you don't need too much. Um, so anyone that has hitchhiking and traveling as their goal, well, you don't have to save for very long to get there. Yeah, I'm gonna do an on-ramp most likely instead. Also, I'm, we're in a different state. I'm not sure if New Orleans or Louisiana is has the same laws or if I'm not allowed to be on an interstate like I am in most states. Texas was just fast and loose with the uh, being allowed to be on the interstate. Let's choose the next car. What, you, you, like a car's gonna pull over and we're like, hold up, hold that person that just that just pulled over and picked me up. My chat has to approve of you first. <laughs> like, that's gonna happen. Those clowns are, were a Twitch streamer. Uh, Relic the Clown. Uh, if someone could link that in chat. They are streaming right now. They're streaming their trip back home to Houston. And apparently they're singing a little bit of Sling Dion, or they were. Map, that's what I'm doing. Map. Map. We love the, the multi-twitch, but right now the multi-twitch is a little bit strange because we're now no longer the same kind of stream. You say try it? Try what? What are we trying? Oh, true, they have to pull over for you. Yeah, I can't just pick a random part out. I'm like, you. I choose you. You're driving me to New Orleans. And that's not how it works. <laughs> uh... Alright, so I gotta walk just over a kilometer, maybe 1.5 kilometers to the on-ramp. There's also a Candyland Cottage and ice cream shop. We could get some ice cream before we go. Has hitchhiking ever gone wrong for you? Well, last night, that was probably the only time on this trip where I've, I've not had that positive vibe that I just seem to always have when I'm hitchhiking. Um, because the guy ended up drinking some and he became, in my opinion, a danger on the road and I voluntarily withdrew myself from that situation, got out of the car. Um, but he still went off and, and did his drive that he was doing. Um, and the problem with that is if you're drinking and driving, you're not only a danger to yourself driving this vehicle and, and not being with it mentally, um, you're a danger to everyone else on the road. And I just hate drinking and driving, so I, that like, I was conflicted because I, I pretty much just let him like continue drinking and driving. We say get out of a car like that. Like in this case, he needs to go to the washroom, and I'm like, oh, my friend's actually trying to come and grab me here, so I'm just gonna get out here. My friend's gonna pick me up. Thanks for the ride, though. You only hitchhike because you got on the wrong bus. Did you have a good time? Are those guys you just met giving you a lift? Like the, the people that were talking here and gave me the truck thing? No, they're, they're staying in town, they're local. 
Um, and then the clowns, they gave me a lift here from Houston. But now it's up to me. It's up to me and my thumb and my new New Orleans sign to, uh, to continue to get a ride. It's okay. That's fine. And I, I get that and I respect that. Like, you guys saw yesterday if you were watching. Interstate traffic's fast. Well, I can really miss you. I miss them too. Can't wait to see them again. But I, w I would feel responsible if, if I if they kept going and he got into a wreck and killed six people. I'd feel responsible. I wouldn't let I wouldn't live that down. In my own mind, I wouldn't. Yeah, it's the same guy that I got pulled over. I'm not sure where I should put this. Clowns are gone. Walk and eat. I can't eat. I'm full right now. I just ate one of those huge sausage things. And it would be a good sausage for later, or snack for later, as long as I'm not sitting down my camp. I, I can't eat that. I can't have that in my bag at night because um, wildlife are going to be extremely attracted to that. And I can't camp out like that. First time you see me not finish a meal? Oh god, I'm disappointing everyone. So I got 1.5 kilometer walk, so let's just get that on the road. Let's put this around here. One is a good sized meal for most people, but you ate two. Yeah, I had one, and that's a good sized meal for me. Uh, at least, given the current conditions I'm in. Luis is great. I agree, Luis. Is amazing. Show me around Dallas. It's cool. So I was just gonna pretty much pass through because there wasn't much that I'm like, hey, I need to see. With that said, I didn't know anything about Dallas. So what do I know? I'm just some Canadian hitchhiker. Let's fend for myself. I'm a hitchhiker. I'm a solo traveler. That's what I do. gonna be big on me. I'm a skinny guy. Yeah, it's a large. Yeah, we did get pulled over yesterday. Got the Willy 
vodka dulp too. And the bug repellent bracelets, which I'm really curious to see how they work. Maybe one won't be enough, so I'll like dual wield these these bracelets. Do the average side, really. <laughs> If I put this in my bag, I'm gonna crush it and it's gonna like squeeze out and like. You know. Just put the, the clat on it outside your tent to scare off the warhogs. T shirt shirt is a nice souvenir. The only downside is with the doll and the t shirt is I gotta carry them. Maybe I'll mail them home. So I'll have them as souvenirs, but I won't have to carry them. Do we have the guy who's gonna do music and get 40 grand? What was his name? His name was something. Uh, oh, I can't remember what he called himself. And it will make my bag smell like food. That's very true as well. You ever get sick of hearing the sound of traffic? Traffic is like white noise to me. It's just background noise. I'm used to it. In fact, it helps me sleep. Finesse, that's it. You, Miss Kylie remembers. AKA Bobby. That's right. Bobby Finesse. Uh, he's like, I should be famous by now. I'm like, well, have you done anything to like put your name out there? To put your art out there? Your music? Like on YouTube? On SoundCloud? They closed the six. On Sun. Um, to put your music out there so people can find it. And, and you can like become famous. And he's like, no. I'm like, well, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Don't complain that you should be famous when you haven't done anything to try and become famous. Giving them the hours. They're closed. I'm open. Come give me a ride. <laughs> Rug says the cops are following them. Oh, shit. What if when we were driving, they got pulled over with me in there, and then we got pulled over twice in two days? Because <laughs> we got pulled over by the police last evening. Attach my jetpack and antenna back to my backpack. We probably got two hours of daylight left. Camping looks pretty pretty doable in this area, so if I don't get a ride out of town, it shouldn't be a problem. And they're debating whether they should go into a sex shop. Well, they can be interesting. So, one of the most interesting stores I went into is the seven-story sex shop in Tokyo. Yeah, I'm just packing my bag and gonna finish this Dr. Pepper, I think, and then I'm walking out. Yeah, I got 1.5k walk, um, and then uh, we'll try and catch a ride uh, east. We're going east. Yes, yeah, seven floors in Tokyo. Look it up. Each floor has different themes.
you be safe on the interstate. I will be on the on-ramp this time. I won't be on the interstate itself. So if you watched yesterday and didn't like me hitchhiking amongst faster traffic in three lanes, well, that's not what we'll be uh, doing tonight. We'll be on the on-ramp. So stay tuned for that. I only have just over an hour of daylight by the time I get out there. But that's okay. If we catch a ride, we catch a ride. If we don't, then we camp out and we try again tomorrow. That's what hitchhiking is. So. If you're impatient, you probably wouldn't like hitchhiking. Because sometimes you gotta wait. Sometimes you gotta wait. And I'm okay with waiting. Also, you guys keep me company. So thank you. There's not much of a sidewalk on this street, which is annoying. So on a street like this, which I'll show you in a sec, I'd walk facing traffic, which I will in a second. So if someone comes up on you and they're driving erratically, you can see them as they come towards you, rather than them coming from behind you and you not being able to see what's going on. road kind of sucks for hitching. Yeah, I won't be hitchhiking on this road. I'm just getting to a spot where I can hitchhike on this road. What if they offer you a hitch on that road equals going wrong way? Well, I'm walking facing traffic. So if someone coming the way I'm walking really wanted to give me a ride, they could pull over and be like, hey, I see you're walking the same direction I'm going. But I prefer to not hitchhike on roads like this. I wait till I get to somewhere that's in a better location for hitchhiking. This is all just local traffic. But yeah, there, there's, there's no shoulder. I just walk on the grass on the side. What's the longest time you've waited for a lift? Eight and a half hours out of Fort Nelson, uh, British Columbia. Northern British Columbia, on the way north through Watson Lake to Whitehorse and eventually up onto Inuvik in winter. And that was probably why it took so long. Oh, I guarantee it's why it took so long. Is It was like late February, early March. Um, so it was winter and those roads just aren't well traveled. People aren't just driving around for fun or out there. And there was like 500 kilometers between uh, Fort Nelson and the next major civilization, which is Watson Lake. Um, so you have to find someone on that road going 500 kilometers and there just wasn't many people going 500 kilometers. How do you stay clean on the road? You do your best. You're not going to get to shower every day. You're not going to get to do the laundry all the time. You're going to have to re-wear clothes. Um, you just do your best. You can use wet wipes to get your hot spots. You can do a little bird baths in, in uh, public washroom sinks if you need to. Get your hot spots as well. Um, you do your best. How many cars passed you in the eight hours? Um, I wasn't counting. A decent chunk did, but there was still some local turnoffs after there. So I'm guessing a very small percentage of the cars that passed me were actually going past the point where I they would be going to all the way to Watson Lake. So, but it wasn't that that busy. But I think my slowest traffic was when I was trying to hitchhike up the Dempster Highway uh, near Dawson City in Yukon on my way to Nuvik. There's pretty much nothing along that, what's it, 600 something kilometer stretch? Almost 700 kilometer stretch from the, the start of the Dempster Highway to Nuvik. Um, I waited four hours for a ride and eventually I got one, but in that time, I think seven cars passed by. And everyone that stopped, that passed by stopped and they're like, do you need help? Are you okay? Um, I was okay. 
But those people that were driving past, they were just going to like, there was like a camp where people could work just like seven kilometers up the road, and I need to go like 700 kilometers. So. Is that thick sausage? It's in my hand. I don't want to put it in my bag. How long is Relic streaming today? Uh, I think he said traditionally he'd only streamed for a few hours, but now that he switched to Twitch, because he was traditionally on Facebook before, Facebook live streaming. Now he's on Twitch, there's more of a community, and it, it, it's, he's totally right. It doesn't make you feel like you want to stay on, because you've got this interaction going on with your community, which is really fun. So. I like what just went to a biker bar and there's a moped gang. <laughs> a moped gang? Dang it, I missed out on that. That would have been fun. Is your leg hurting? No, it's fine. I feel a tiny bit when I put a lot of like, if I try to push off really hard with my left leg, but it's not bad. For, for just normal walking like this, it's fine. State are you in Louisiana? Louisiana. So we were technically in Louisiana for a brief amount of time a few days ago. But we went through Shreveport just quickly and then right into Texas. And then through Texas we went Dallas, Houston, and now back into Louisiana. But we're going along the Gulf Coast now on our way to New Orleans. New Orleans. Have to try some good gumbo? Yeah, that'd be good. But that's like soup, and it's so hot. What got you to do hitchhiking? My dislike for the Greyhound bus system. Between cities. I don't mind buses within a city. But I don't like inner city bus, or intrust city buses. Is that right? Or inter? Intercity or intra? What's between cities? Anyway. And I decided to try hitchhiking. I got there quicker, a lot quicker than if I was taking the bus. And they drove me to my friend's front door for that first trip. I'm like, oh, that was fun. Let's uh, take it further. And it escalated and escalated. And now I've hitchhiked through 25 countries. And I've been picked up 800 times in my life. And I just honestly like hitchhiking. As strange as that sounds. I just honestly enjoy it. Like the unknown nature of it. I like the adventurous aspect of it. Like every day when I wake up from my tent, crawl in my, my tent, or in this case on this trip, I occasionally sleep in a motel, hotel. Um, I have no idea what the day is, what happens, what's going to happen that day. I have no idea. You know, you don't know who's gonna pick you up, where they're from, where they're going, what the story is, anything like that. anything. <clears throat> and yes, uh, green machine, 100% freedom. I'm traveling by myself. I get to do what I want when I want to. And I don't really make plans at all, which gives me more freedom. Because if someone picks me up and they're like, hey, I'm doing this. Do you want to come? We're going here. I can always say yes, because I don't have to be anywhere. Uh, what do you do for a job? Uh, for the past couple years, I, when I'm not traveling, I'll go back home, get a new job. Uh, past couple of jobs have been selling outdoor gear and apparel. Um, like, you know, tents, sleeping bags, sleeping pads, backpacks, boots, 
jackets, pants, that kind of stuff. But I only got that job after I'd been hitchhiking for a while. Hitchhiking, like, after my first long trip, like my eight month around the world trip, I went into an outdoor sport store. I'm like, so why do you think, or why should you work here? And the, the Cliff Notes answer is like, I lived in my tent the past 200 some odd days. I pretty much just lived outdoors. And what was that? The sun's getting a little bit low. The bugs will start coming out pretty soon. No, I still got an hour, at least an hour of daylight. Going to New Orleans this time. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. I got a sign there to go there. I don't know how much further it is. It's a while, and I only got like an hour of daylight. Even if I got a ride all, to, all the way to New Orleans, I don't want to show up to New Orleans uh, in the middle of the night. I don't think it's the type of city you want to just show up in the middle of the night and have to like figure out where to camp, what to do, where to go at nighttime. So I think I voluntarily get out early, even though I got a ride to New Orleans. Camp the night, hitchhike in tomorrow morning, check out the city, and then see what I want to do. Do you have a fair pair, a few pair of shoes? I only bring one pair of shoes with me on a trip. Yeah, I only bring one pair. Shoes are bulky and they, well, not all of them, but in general they weigh a, a little bit. So I only let myself bring one pair of shoes on a trip. I can show you mine. They're not even like purpose hiking boots. I bought them at a used store, a used clothing store. And I just repurposed them. I, I, I took them to a cobbler and got them to fix a, a Vibram sole onto it. They're fry boots, F R Y E. Is there a destination? All 50 US states. We've been through 15. We've got a ways to go yet. So it's day 41, but we still got a few months left. Albeit going up the eastern seaboard, we'll be knocking off states like none other. Big fun ride tonight. New Orleans is a major hub. Oh yeah. I think there's more than a 50% chance I'll, I'll catch a ride tonight. What do you do for showers? I shower infrequently. When people give me a place to stay, I'll shower. If I run out of batteries and like I won't be able to stream the next day, then I'll, I'll let myself get a motel because the whole purpose of this trip is to live stream it and show people what hitchhiking is like, so if I can't live stream it and show what hitchhiking is like, I'm not really doing what I want to do for this trip. So I'll shower at that point. People that pick me up will offer me a place to stay. Some viewers will offer me a place to stay sometimes. Thanks, Miss Kylie. And, and the family, not, not just Miss Kylie. The whole fam jam. 
and other people. Fupa Lord, guy from Colorado. You guys know who you are. You know, you know who you are if you're here. With Relic and Wilson, we have a 500% chance for a ride. Just like they're, uh, what'd they give me? 5,000% beat. They gave me some serious bug spray. Like, not that, that, that weak 40% that I have. I can't even buy the 40% DEET in Canada. They give me 98 point something percent DEET. It's hardcore stuff. You try some, to do something touristy? I haven't. Like, in some states, I'll do like a city walking tour. I did in San Francisco, Des Moines. Um, checked out Denver a little bit, Boulder a little bit. Actually, no, that was, Boulder wasn't streamed. Um, but for the most part, I'm just hitchhiking because I like hitchhiking. If I get an opportunity, like someone's like, hey, let me show you this, I'm more than willing to do that. But I just don't like plan it out, seek it out. Oh yeah, nice little Dallas tour, that's right. Can't forget that one, thank you, Luis. And Andrew. Alright. So these cars coming off up here are coming. They were driving down I-10 west. I gotta go to the on-ramp going east, which is just over this overpass up here. Up yonder past that, turn left, and we're on the, the interstate, or the on-ramp. I won't be going onto the interstate because that's illegal. And at Hitch Live, we try to follow all local, local, state, and federal laws as best we can. So if it's illegal to hitchhike on the interstate, we won't hitchhike on the interstate, we'll hitchhike on the on-ramp to the interstate. Can you come pick me up and smoke weed with you? I don't smoke weed, I don't mind you smoking weed, but I'm not going to smoke weed with you. And also, if you're driving and smoking weed, well then you're, as far as the state's concerned, most likely impaired driving, which is illegal. Oh we got? Jesus in Taiwan. Thanks for the raid. Party of 18 people. Jesus in Taiwan, folk. Welcome to Hitch Live, where we hitchhike. I'm in Lafayette, Louisiana, going to New Orleans. We're going to be hitchhiking in a couple minutes. We lift, just left Jesus? Yeah, the place we were just eating at. They had like a Jesus thing up front. States and their bridges with no sidewalks and no shoulders. I hate it when they do that. I just got across an, an overpass bridge and they don't make them very walkable. But there's not much I can do about that. Heard you have a cool stream. Well, thank you for the host the raid. Uh, welcome on Jesus and Taiwan fans. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm hitchhiking around America all through, through all 50 states. I've been through 15 so far. We got another 35 to do. We picked up 86, 87, something like that times on the trip. Met some amazing people. And we will continue to do such. Where are the clowns? They're going back to Houston. They drove me here, but they've got places to be. This is my shoulder for this bridge, which sucks. Thanks, Louisiana making it really safe for me. Really safe. But, if you've been here a while, you'll notice that US infrastructure is not developed for pedestrians. It is built exclusively for personal motor vehicles. 
I don't know if you've noticed, but I am not a personal motor vehicle. I am a hitchhiker. I don't get to drive across this bridge, I have to walk. I'm supposed to walk on the side of the bridge, there is no side of the bridge. What, what, what do you mean? But yeah, it's slow traffic, it's not that bad. What's the scariest car you hopped into? Did you see the clowns I was just hitchhiking with? You see those clowns? But no, uh, it scares people for me getting into the vehicles. I only realize it's scary once we get driving because they're terrifying drivers and they're reckless and they and danger to themselves and everyone on the road. Alright. We made it. Oh and the on ramps just up there. Just in front of that McDonald's. It's probably decent, decent camping around here if I lose the sun. One of my rules is I don't hitchhike at night. So the sun goes down and it gets dark, no more hitchhiking. We're done for the night. Game over. Try again next day. Try again next day. Good luck finding decent driver in Cali. Oh, I hitchhiked through Cali, it wasn't too bad. Now we're gonna analyze this on-ramp. I can't really tell from here what it looks like. I look for a few things in an on-ramp. Or I look for a few things in the hitchhiking spot. It doesn't have to be an on-ramp. I look for a long line of sight so they can see you from a long ways away so they have time to make that decision on whether they want to pick you up or not. I look for a wide shoulder so they can pull off the lane of traffic and ideally I look for, for slow traffic so they're not going too fast. It's a lot easier to stop going like 15 to 30 miles an hour than it is going 70. So, Am I headed to camp already? No, we still got an hour of daylight. Uh, so I'm going to hitchhike on this on-ramp just around the corner here. Direction New Orleans. Excuse me, if you're waiting till night, are you gonna sleep in your tent? Once the sun goes down, I'll be setting up my tent and sleeping there. I don't stream where I camp for my own safety. So, uh, if you wanna see that and you're hoping I won't get picked up, well, if I don't get picked up, then I'll just end the stream. I don't stream my camping. Please don't hate me. I love you all. It's just one of my rules as well. Do you get rides to get food? Like, sometimes rides will give me food, but I don't just like get rides to get food. What do you do when you set up camp? Read, watch, Twitch, keeping log of any kind. Like, I keep my VODs, but I don't keep like too much of a log. Did you have dinner? Yeah, I have the leftovers are here. Um, when I set up my tent and I climb inside, I go to sleep. I'm tired. Hitchhiking is an exhausting way of traveling. So I go to bed. Uh, have you thought, it's not a camera problem, it's a network problem. When you're in the middle of nowhere, you can't stream in 1080p. It's not, it's not the camera thing. Like yes, I would prefer to have a better, better phone camera kind of setup, but I could put this up to 1080p. This, this camera films in 1080p. I just, it's not reliable enough to, to the network isn't rely enough to, to stream 1080p. Yeah, so you go to motel at night? No, I, uh, for the most part, I sleep in my tent. My tent is my home. And there goes my backpack, it fell over. Like usual. you again or see you at TwitchCon. So I'll be at TwitchCon.
Hopefully that stands up. Yeah, Nemesis backpack strikes again, guys. You guys know how it is. Oh yeah, I should show you the hitch I can smell. I'll do that in one sec. cool clown outfits and they're testing out the nod in their full gear and people just can't resist they'll nod back at you they'll wave at you if you nod at people they feel like they have to just say hi back Better hitching through nods. Nods help, maybe. I, I can't like I, I can't give statistics to tell you one way or another because I don't get to uh, like interview people that don't pick me up. I wish I could like hitchhike here and then have like a roadblock 500 meters behind me where they like police stop them and they like they interview them. They're like. about that hitchhiker that you just drove past. What would make it more likely for you to pick it up? Why didn't you pick him up? Like that kind of thing. I, most people, their answer would be, I never pick up hitchhikers, which is valid. I understand that, that's fine. I, I'm just more curious what their responses would be. <laughs> because uh, people are scared of hitchhikers. Am I scary, guys? That sign sucks, just use East. I'm offended that you said that. I like this sign. Also, it's signed. Relic and Willy. It's rude, Scaramanga. You pick him up? Yeah! What is it? Sleazy ghost. Glad you'd pick me up. Great resilience, I'm just a patient person. I don't mind waiting somewhere for hours. If you're not patient, you wouldn't like hitchhiking. And honestly, I just like hitchhiking. Why would you do that? I like it. I'm a little scary. Thank you. You wouldn't trust hitchhikers. Oh no. Oh no. You wouldn't trust me. Why not? Do you like fishing? Yeah, and I have compared it to fishing before. I put myself out there 
I try to present myself the best way I can, you know, like a, like a, like a lure for fishing. Try to look clean and presentable. Someone you'd want to sit next to in your car, just like a lure or, or like bait on a, on a line is trying to draw in fish. I'm not saying that these drivers are fish, it's just the comparison we're making. For this particular example. But you still gotta wait. You still gotta wait for the fish to come to you, you don't chase them down. You just gotta wait for them to come to you. And if they find you like someone they'd want to sit next to in the car, then maybe they'll pull over. Dress clean and look like a nice guy. Well, I appreciate that. Sometimes when people are like pulled over, like just to my left is a Popeyes. Uh, sometimes people like they just see me hitchhiking and they're getting food, and then they're like, "Oh, just give them a honk and wave you over," and they weren't even driving past you. Oh, remember when I was yeah in uh, where was I? That was in uh, northern Louisiana. I was at a gas station asking people for rides, and she thought I was like homeless and needed water, so she gave me a bottle of water, but she couldn't give me a ride, which was very appreciated. Um, that was nice. Sorry. Mr. Womp, thanks for the 200 bits. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Beautiful sunset. Yeah, it is beautiful here. You know what? With the stream going and me doing my thing, I haven't even taken the time to appreciate the view. It's beautiful. I end up in some beautiful places, guys. Some beautiful places. You still have the lady that was screaming at the gas pump? <laughs> yeah, she was about to give me a ride, too. And I'm like, oh, it's, no, it's okay. It's okay, I'll just wait for another one. Well, said you can stay with us when you come to Michigan. Well, I'll definitely be coming through Michigan, so. Um, yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, send me a whisper, I'll add you to the list. I have a list of people all over the world that have offered me a place to stay, a ride, a bite to eat. Just a little bit of friendship. Um, Michigan, I am going to Michigan. I'm going to all 50 states. I haven't been to Michigan yet. Michigan is one of the states, is it not? to it. I offer you a free meal here in Washington. Washington State or Washington DC? I've been to Washington State but I'll probably actually be back. Uh, how many female drivers have picked you up? I'm estimating about 15% of my rides have been uh, from female drivers. 15%. Where around are you? Lafayette, um, Louisiana. I don't think we've... Have we updated the title? I can't tell. Good. All right. Perfect. Thank you, mods. Appreciate it. 15 is higher than expected. The number of states I've hitchhiked through. But you'll get a ride tonight. I guess we'll find out. Stay tuned. I was going to say find out next time, but find out this time on Hitch Live whether you, I get picked up or not tonight. If I don't, I'll turn off the stream. Maybe I'll go to McDonald's over there and say goodnight to everyone, then go find a place to camp.
cops come in here, we'll see if they're giving me a hard time. Looks like he's gonna give me a hard time, he's pulling up to me. We'll see. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. I'm from Canada. Yeah, it's a live stream. I'm from Canada. I'm documenting the process of hitchhiking. Oh, awesome. Can you open it down for a second? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Can you try, try to get some? I've been through 15 so far. Except for the states where it's illegal. It's about 15 to make it. But it's really good. I just got to have a super policy button on the bottom. <laughs> now, what would you say, uh, since you're saying I can't do this in the United States, where can I go? So, this is how I turn it back around. I can't do this in the United States. Could you get me another shot? Yeah. Oh, let me off. Yeah, it's not the same time. I get that. I get that. It's the west coast of Canada, west of the most, uh, do you know Vancouver? Have you heard of Vancouver? Yeah. Right about Seattle. Yeah. Well, actually, I have 450 people here. Oh, wow. Do you wouldn't mind giving me a ride just outside the <laughs> Cool. Just stay here? Yeah. Yeah. He might give me a ride uh, outside of the city. Yeah, he might give me a ride out of town. Actually, 500, not 450. <laughs> no, he seems like a really nice guy. He's just checking with his supervisor, so. to drive. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just going to check, make sure I don't have any warrants. And, uh, but how you deal with cops is you, you treat them with respect and you be polite to them and then they're not really that rude to you. A cop is a person too. A cop is a person too. Don't do anything that would make them nervous. Good, yourself? I've done it in 25 countries, my friend. Yeah. Do you want my car? Awesome, awesome. Appreciate that. Now am I going in the front or the back? In the back? <laughs> it's all good. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
So I'm good to throw my bag back there? Or in the back back here? Yeah, alright. Yeah, it's just for your safety and stuff. No, that makes Always. sense. I get that. Actually, I don't think I've ridden the back of a cop car, so this is an experience for me, too. <laughs> it's Ukrainian. No, it's all good. I got it. We got it in. It's, a, it's Ukrainian, so... Where did you start off at? Port Angeles, Washington State. We've been through 15 states so far. I'll give you guys a card if you're curious. Uh, you can see where, what I'm up to. Well, I've, like I've hitchhiked in 25 countries now, and I've had a really good time with it. And I just wanted to show people what hitchhiking can be like. It has a really bad reputation. Yeah. Uh, but I've never had a problem with it. I've met a ton of really nice people. I've had some crazy experiences. <laughs> had some crazy experiences hitchhiking. It just as ending up in places where I'd never end up yeah. if I was doing my own kind of traveling. But people that just go for like, hey, I'm doing this, want to come along. Um, so, so like, Are you pronouncing that? Oh yeah. So. Canada, we call it Danilo, but it's Ukrainian. And I was when I was in Russia, they're like, "Oh, Danny Luke." So apparently, it's supposed to be Danny Luke. <laughs> is that like a, what, what is that? Oh, uh, it's an email between just tells us what happened during the ship. The oh, okay. Oh, I, mean, I made it to your little. Our little pass. <laughs> Now when you take my ID and stuff, do you run it through like an international, like is there like looking for warrants to make sure I'm not wanted in Canada? Or like, what do you guys do? I don't think they run it from Canada. I'm pretty sure they, they run it just NCIC, which make sure is there's the nothing national base for United States. Yeah. Okay. All right. And that's why Canada's most wanted this to something. Uh, nope, I'm not. <laughs> I promise. Is it first name Yeah. I got two middle names. Yeah. Danny Luke. <laughs> cool. Awesome. So where are you going to take me? I'm going to take you to the back here. Oh, okay. And I, am I allowed to hitchhike from there? Oh. oh, cool. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Well, it's nice to, meet, nice to meet you and I'll... Well, nice to meet you too, but we're going to drive somewhere, so... <laughs> cool. Alright, let's load up and roll. Yeah, they don't give you much leg room in these. <laughs> What's up with that? <sighs> Is it against policy to go do like a little whoop whoop with your with your sirens? You can give me a little whoop whoop? Alright. Oh yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Oh. So do you get many hitchhikers around these parts? No. Like I was kind of telling you guys, um, like I'd hitchhiked in 25 countries. Well, I guess oh, you want to know why I started hitchhiking in the first place. Uh, my dislike for the Greyhound buses. Uh, I used to take them all the time from where I was in British Columbia to somewhere about a three hour drive away. It took like six and a half hours in the bus. And one time I just said, screw it, I'm going to hitchhike. Made a sign that said Vancouver, free cookies with a smiley face. And I uh, caught a ride in 20 minutes and they drove me to my friend's front door. I was like, that was fun, and then it slowly escalated, actually really quickly escalated. Within a year, I was hitchhiking around the world. Uh, so, yeah, I've hitchhiked through Canada, Ireland, Wales, England, Scotland, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, France, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Austria, Slovenia, Croatia, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Russia, Japan, Australia, and now the United States of America. I don't think anyone's crazy enough to come with me. 
Um, I, I like the freedom of being by myself. I can do what I want when I want to. If someone picks me up and they give me an offer to go somewhere, I can always say yes. Uh, I don't have someone being like, ooh, I actually want to do this instead. I always have that 100% freedom to do what I want. Um, and I like it. What you want to do after you travel to the States? Sorry? What you want to do after you travel to the States? Uh, I'm not sure. This channel's grown really quickly. Like, I started with zero followers, and now I've got, like, close to 4,000 in 40 days, and started with zero viewers, and now I have 500-something people watching at a time. Um, so maybe I'll go do different other countries. I've already hitchhiked around Europe, but I didn't have this live stream. This is the first trip I've ever documented like this, um, and I've been doing it for 41 days now. So um, I think there's potential to take this to other places. Uh, see other countries and bring the internet along with me. I do also think that having this live stream adds an additional level of, of safety to hitchhiking because before I get into a vehicle, I ask people for permission to film and have a live stream and if someone had any bad intentions, they wouldn't want their face broadcast to 500 people, but then, <laughs> yeah. Which community were we in? Well, I'm pretty sure we're from Scott. Now you're, Scott. Now you're back. So Scott has rules against people who are checking in town. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I was unaware of that. Oh, Didn't yeah. know. tell you when I started hitchhiking my mom wasn't that cool with it but she's okay with it now because <laughs> uh, I've only had really had a good experience with it so so she supports it now and she gets to watch it live all day so she gets to see what I'm up to she gets to see me get uh, pulled into the back of a police car by the US police in the most friendly way <laughs> uh, and my dad's you know my dad's like have at her give her I guess How long have you been a police officer for? For six months. Oh, almost eight months. Eight months? Oh, so you're pretty new to the force. Yeah, I was a paramedic for nine years. Oh, really? Yes. What, uh, what made you transition, paramedic to police officer? It was just push time for a change or something. Like yeah. And how are you finding it so far? I love it. You love it? That's awesome. Do what you love in life. subscribe, they donate, uh, there's different ways to monetize the channel. Uh, I think it's hilarious that uh, hitchhiking by definition involves no money exchanging hands. That's what hitchhiking is, it's, it's getting a ride for free, right? Uh, and the fact that somehow I've turned that, in, that little passion that I've done for the past four years into something that can sustain my, uh, at least sustain my travel. I'm not going to become rich off of this by any means, uh, but I can sustain it and I can do this forever if I want to. I won't, but uh, I can keep hitchhiking and traveling at this rate and I won't run out of money ever. On every other trip, like every day you spend a little bit of money, because I don't work when I travel. Yeah. Um, I just, I just travel. Uh, but, um, but yeah, now it's sustainable. Now it's sustainable, which is cool. So how long does it take to become a police officer? I'm just curious. And the requirements to get into the academy, do they have any, or is it just high school, or uh, like a college diploma, or uh, yeah, just life experience? Okay. Passive background, body practice, Yeah. Alright. So we're in Lafayette now? So then we're good if I just stand at the top of the on-ramp 
Not on the interstate. Yeah. I'm just cheating the parking lot right here, so people don't think I'm like I'm just dropping you off on the side of the road. Okay. And these have a uh, like child safety locks, right? I can't let myself out. You have to yeah, let me out. Yeah, I have to. Let you <laughs> And when I do get a, do you mind get, if I get a picture with you? Just, you know, I try to document the different types of people that pick me up. And technically, your police officer that gave me a ride. Yeah? Awesome. I appreciate that. <laughs> you like that I called the child safety locks? <laughs> do you guys have another name for it? Because in normal cars, it's like a child safety lock, but... You just, you just, oh, you can't, okay. We'll grab his name. All right, Dave. I, I got some water, man. You want some water? Uh, yeah, I guess my water bottles aren't full, so I, I take a little water. Can never have too much water when it's hot out like it is here. It is, it is hot out. And that humidity is killer. Thanks for being so kind. that have been watching this stream and you'll notice that that's a recurring theme. I get out of the car and I'm like, what a nice guy, what a nice lady. Um, so that was cool. Uh, OG player, thanks for the 100 bits. I had a couple donations there or something. Mike, 5,000 bits, donated $10. Keep up the good footage, appreciate it. Uh, Slippery Peanuts with a 1,000 bits. Bail money boys. <laughs> Bail me out of prison, everyone. Yay for Lance. I agree, everyone. Yay for Lance. What a nice guy. Took me to somewhere where I could hitchhike. Uh, yeah, that's one of the difficulties. Is, is sometimes, like, that was a tiny community that I was in. That was a tiny community. You just sub, no pop-up. It might be just blocked behind a few things. Hopefully it'll catch up. Um, sometimes these tiny communities actually just, the, they ban it with their little tiny community thing, they're like, no hitchhiking, but I can't, like, you can't even look that up online. Um, so that's, that's difficult for me to, uh, to know. I, I can figure out state, but sometimes city uh, ordinance is, is more difficult for me to find out. Why was he riding a cop car? Because the cop pulled up and he's like, what you doing here? And he's like, oh, actually this small town, 
we were in Scott. Um, doesn't allow people to hitchhike, but um, oh, what's going on with my notification? Um, and he's like, but I can take you to the next town. How do you keep your electronics charge? Uh, I got about three days of juice before I need, um, before I need, oh, we're way behind on the, on the alerts. Um, so that's why your subscription hasn't popped up. Uh, we're just way behind on alerts because my Streamlabs, I guess, is, is overwhelmed. You guys are overwhelming my Streamlabs. Stop being so supportive and following and subscribing and all that jazz and donating and stuff. Um, pat him on the back of you, your former officer. My experience with police officers have been um, quite positive. He was, he was over the top, friendly, nice. Uh, my general perception is they're like stern, but they're polite. If you're doing something wrong, they'll tell you and they'll tell you what you can do to not be doing something wrong. So, let's, before it gets dark, let's try and catch another ride. Horror movies do give hitchhiking a bad reputation. Hitchhiking doesn't have to be a negative thing. Do you have a solar, po uh, a solar power charger? I do not, but I'm going to get one. <laughs> another scripted screen on Hitch Live. You know how it is on Hitch Live. It's all scripted. This is a green screen. We're not actually in Louisiana. We're in Canada. 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 Um, and I'm just uh, in a in a studio, so thank you. <laughs> All right, let, let's get back onto the highway. And yeah, let's catch another ride. That was the first police ride on this trip. I have had rides from the police in the past, but this is the first live streamed one, so that's fun. Not actually outside, so yeah, I just fake the sweat like. I'll go off the screen and they'll like pat like really wet paper towels on me so it looks like I'm sweating in the humidity. But uh, really, it's it's just it's just tap water. It's actually a very comfortable 69 degrees uh, Fahrenheit where I am here in Canada. Whoa, what's that's a weird lid on this. <laughs> Can you guys see this? It's a it's a. A Scott Police Department water bottle. It's branded. Police. <laughs> well, I'm glad I grabbed a, a water bottle. First stream from back of the squad car? Yeah, it is. That was fun. What a nice guy. Lance. <laughs> I've never had a police issued water bottle before. Man. That's exciting. You'd keep that. I don't know how, like, I'm gonna finish this water bottle and then what am I gonna do with it? I'm just gonna carry around an empty water bottle with me? Awesome brand. They should sell these in stores. First sponsorship? <laughs> Hitch Live! Sponsored by the Scott Police Department. Gotta save that water bottle. <laughs> don't drink the water? But I'm, I have to carry, what is it, how many milliliters? Whatever a water bottle is worth, 500 milliliters, 591 milliliters, something like that worth of water that I'm not going to drink. If anything, I'd like send it home and as keep it as a souvenir, but... Almost as good as a badge. Give the bottle to the next Twitch hiker. Rip the label off to keep it. Oh, maybe I'd do that. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Life I live is making music with my friends. I can't wait to get on the road again. Put that on Instagram, I will. I'm a little bit, I, I'm a day and a half behind or two days behind on my Instagram, so I put it in order. Could that add that to a give, giveaway? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're heading to New Orleans. How did the cop find you? I don't know, he just pulled up onto the on-ramp. And it's like, hey, how's it go? 
I'm like, it's going good. How's it going with you? The selfie queen? You're in New Orleans? You wanna come say hi? I like meeting people. Probably just a welfare check. Also a warrant check. They always check your your ID, make sure you don't you're not uh, I haven't been arrested for anything. So I'm just gonna walk a little bit up this ramp. The further up the ramp I get, the little more gray it is as far as legality goes, so we're gonna not walk too far. Right about yeah, it's very possible someone called it in. People are terrified of hitchhikers. Unfortunately, it's not really possible for me to check that out. I don't think it would be a problem camping around here. There's just some tall grass I'd have to walk through to get anywhere. and I don't like walking through tall grass in places where they've got poisonous snacks and shit like that. Or stuff like that. I'm trying to cut down on my swearing, but it's part of my vocabulary at this moment in time. jeans <laughs> how are you surviving with us oh yeah it, it's been a while like I yeah I still got them all in my bag so I'm, I'll probably have the late night snack of some Snickers but thank you for the bag of Snickers Miss Kyle ah does the bite hurt oh no okay you're referring to someone else I don't get to see like the color that it makes it every everything that everyone writes is just like white text on my screen so you at hitch live me like I, I just read at hitch live but there's no like changing color that makes it stand out to me which is makes me sad I wish it stood out in some way is the camera hidden no I show people the camera and before I get into vehicles I ask them for permission to film oh yeah and this sign was made by uh, by relic relic thank you for the sign we're gonna use the sign to get myself to New Orleans. Or New Orleans. But thank you all for watching. We're gonna see, we're just gonna give it another 20 minutes, maybe. Oh, backpack! Give it another 20 minutes or something. How many miles to New Orleans? Honestly, I don't know. It's about to get bad, bro. Like, the bugs are gonna get bad? Honestly, I should probably call it a night now. I don't want to get into New Orleans at night. Ever hitchhiked a motorcycle? Almost. I've had motorcycles pull over, but then we, like, look at the situation, look at my big bag, and they're like, mm, maybe not. You better get your bug spray out? Yeah, it's right there. Texas. I drove 
by really slow. I thought he was going to. Changes my mind. That's fine. Honestly, if I want to find a decent camping spot, I should probably go pretty soon. Pretty soon. I'm just gonna look at a map of the area while I'm still hitchhiking here. Go to Bourbon Street. I probably will, but only during the daytime, especially with all my gear. About three to four hours. Yeah, I don't want to even go there tonight. I don't want to show up there. I want to show up there and uh... yeah, it's gonna get dark really quick. And I'd rather in a place like this. Yeah, I'm gonna stay for the night. I'm gonna give it up, actually, guys. It's about to get dark real quickly. And. Uh... There's lots of tall grass here and stuff like that, and I'd rather just do it while there's still some visibility, visibility going on. So I, I think the responsible thing, the safest option, is to, to call it a night right now. I do apologize. I'm guessing some of you guys want to see more. I just can't do that for you. One of my rules is I don't want to check at night, and it's pretty much night. Services. Clown guys are still talking about you. Well, I still talk about the clown guys. I was just talking about the sign they made me. Glad we're in mutual agreement that we're still worth talking about. <laughs> Be safe. I will. Uh, dead end, Alan. Awesome stream. Happy you checked it out. Have a good night. I'm happy you checked it out too. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. I'll be on for a couple minutes. Let's bring you with my walk for... There's a target here and everything. Right. Uh, you're a 16 year old girl that will walk around at night. Will you also set up a camp in a public park at night? I walk around at night too. It's just easier to find a camp spot if it's not pitch black. Don't mistake a snake for a piece of sausage. I'll do my best. How do you know the clowns are talking about them? Because they're live streaming, most likely. <sighs> been here before you. Here since you were at Golden Fran, Golden State. Oh, you've been here. You started at the uh, San Francisco walking stream. What numbers were you pulling then? Like 50 ish, 40 ish, 30 ish? A lot of snakes in the grass? Yeah. So we're doing it at daytime. What's the next state for me? Uh, what comes east of Louisiana? It's either Mississippi or Alabama. Once they're Twitch, it's called Relic the Clown. If someone could link that in chat, I'd appreciate that. It has been a fun day. And thank you all for checking it out. Uh, we only hit, really hitchhiked one ride with the police officer. The other one was Twitch hiked, uh, but they took me all, all the way from Houston to almost Lafayette, so. Where are you staying tonight, buddy? In my tent. That's my home away from home. Oh, okay, it's Mississippi, then Alabama. Oh, yeah. I forget the order. I knew it was Mississippi and Alabama. I just didn't know it was, if it was Alabama, then Mississippi, or Mississippi, then Alabama. Part of Florida, you're going to probably just the northern part because I am trying to escape that southern heat. It's hot. I'm just a Canadian who's not used to the heat. So, right there, rain might be coming tonight. Oh, really? All right. I'm guessing it'll be variable on and off. Hope you stay safe tonight. Me too. Me too. But thank you for the, the kind words, the well wishes. stay on the coast it won't be bad with the wind yeah that's what I'm planning I'm planning on going straight east to the east coast and then uh, north up the, up the east coast
Watch out for Florida Man. I have heard about him. I'm going to keep my eyes out. Pay attention to our tent. <laughs> I will do my best. Savannah is a nice city. I don't know where that is. Forgive my ignorance of uh, US geography, but I'm from Canada. I got a $10 donation. Tyler, 29, 3.49, thank you for the $10 donation. Good luck, man, stay safe. Thank you for the luck. I can use as much luck as I can muster, and I will do my best to stay safe. I do appreciate that. You guys help keep me safe, though. Camp on the Gulf of Mexico. You should have even stay here in Johnson City, Tennessee. I do have to go through, through Tennessee, so possibly. Uh, I'm just when I'm streaming, I'm not able to add that to my like list of people that have offered me places to stay or rides or anything like that. If you do whisper me or send me a message on Discord, then I will add you to the list. And if I'm in the area, then I'll hit you up, and we can hang out, and you can uh, help out little old Canadian hitchhiker me. I'll bring your prayers tonight. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Hope I don't get shot at again tonight. Me too. Me too. How do I keep, donate? Love to keep on going all night long. Oh, we won't be going all night long. I'm about to turn it off before I just, while I was walking away from the hitchhiking spot and kind of winding down, I'm winding down the stream right now. Um, I just didn't want to like end it right there. Uh, is impact velocity in chat? He might be on a... He's doing ride-alongs with the OPP. He might be doing that. Do not camp near gators. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do, Marlies. Maybe I want to make friends with some gators. Or snakes. Don't tell me what to do, Mike. When I go to Sweden, he knows me. I would love to be hosted by you in Sweden. I love Sweden. How many days do you think this trip will take? Probably at least another two months. At least another two months. Host the clowns, are they still streaming? If they're streaming, then definitely. Let's just sit down here for a second. Quite a bit of rain coming. Well, that sucks. Oh well, such is life. Can you just, uh, for spelling's sake, can you guys link their channel name in chat? Yeah, we're, we'll send you over there for sure. These are the guys that drove me for uh, a few hours out of town today. And it took a lot longer than it should have because uh, there was some bad traffic. Let's sit down for a second. That's what I was curious about. See, so yeah, I'm gonna send you guys over to Relic the Clown. I really do appreciate you all watching today. I'm going to have a nice sleep. Apparently, people are telling me it's gonna rain. That's okay. Rain happens. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream. We got our first clown hitchhike today. We got our first uh, police hitchhike on this trip today. So that's awesome. And uh, I. Whenever I, I raid people, I have no idea when it sends you over because it doesn't do it instantly. It gives me about 20 seconds. So I'm going to hit raid. And I got a few seconds to talk to you guys. So thank you all for watching. I'm, I had a great day today. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Relic. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for picking me up. That was a lot of fun. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. We're hitching to New Orleans. Probably get to New Orleans. Hopefully at a decent time where I can check out the city before it gets into the evening time but thank you for watching i will see you all tomorrow and i love you all i love you all we'll be hitchhiking tomorrow stay tuned <laughs>